so excited. You guys, my birthday is next Friday, November 17th. I'm so excited. I know a lot of people are like, well, you should just, you know, like, settle for this and then settle for that. But I'm like, no, either go big or go home. Like, Hey guys, it's your girl Bianca B. And so in this video, I'm going to be doing a Snapchat q and I asked my subscribers and Twitter peeps what video they wanted to see next and everybody said that they wanted to do a Snapchat Q&A. Um, so in this video, I'm going to do a Snapchat Q&A and then also talk about some of my birthday memories with you guys. So if you guys want to please continue watching, make sure you guys subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and please continue watching. So Jill on Snapchat asked me, how long did it take you to learn makeup and what are your favorite products? Hmm, good question. So it took me about like a good, I started really getting into makeup when I started college. Um, well, a little bit before my senior year of high school is when I would do like a lot of people's makeup and stuff like that. Like if I would have stayed in Michigan, I definitely would have been a makeup artist. I would have went to school uh, for makeup. But I started like really getting into it when I got my first Urban Decay palette, which I still have. It's sitting over there. I actually use this purple underneath my eyes uh, for the palette. But um, <laughs> so I think Urban Decay, like that was one of my favorite products growing up. Just Urban Decay is such a successful brand. I love Maybelline. Um, I love Lime Crime. Lime Crime was the company that really, like, I really started rocking purple lipstick. And then also Fantastic Faces by Stephanie. Um, she was the person that introduced me to purple lipstick, and that was back in 2012. And ever since then, I just love purple lipstick. I really love NYX brand. Um, I love all their lipsticks. I love their manufacturer. Like, NYX lipsticks are just, ugh. Their suede lipsticks are just amazing. So NYX is probably one of my favorite companies. And then um, May I said Maybelline. I love Maybelline's foundation. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love her contour kit. Um, that's pretty much it. And then also how I how long did it take me? It took me like years. I'm still executing. Um, even last year I sucked, you know, like I think with makeup is just more practice. The more you practice, the more you get into it. And um, yeah, so that to answer your question, that is the next question is from Danon. Shout out to Danon. He asks, Will you ever create a book tour? So my friend Michelle, she's like you should have been did a book tour a lot of people always want me to do book tours and definitely with plot plan and slay my second book i definitely definitely will do a book tour like that will be like one of my major goals for 2018 is to travel and to go to, to many different places talking about my book plot plan and slay if you don't have my first book it's right here the 20s chronicles you guys can get it on amazon and also my website um yeah so that was his first question. The second question is, would you consider a new producer for the next season on the Bianca B show? Yes, I mean, we're always down for help. We love help. Um, it's just so far been me, Marina, Chandler within la this last season and, um, and help from different people too. But most definitely, the more hands, the better. You know, when I started the Bianca B show, I had like so many different like, people because I was in college and everybody was hustling and working now that we're grown we have responsibilities so I totally get it but yes I would definitely um, have like a new producer I love that yes there would be a third book I actually started writing on it it's a poetry book it's called written in July um, it's so grown and sexy the third book is so like not Bianca B but you guys would definitely definitely love it um, I think you guys will really, really love it. It's for the grown, grown and sexy. It's a poetry book. It's about, it's about sex. Um, it's about love. It's about people. Um, it's a really, really dope poetry book. You guys, my birthday is next Friday, November seventeenth. I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. Someone asks, when are you going to have a cross country meetup with your supporters? Shout outs to Issa. Um, when am I going to have a cross country meetups with my supporters? When I get some money, girl? No, but, um, 
no seriously but when I'm able to have the time to like meet up with people I want to make sure like my subscribers and followers and a uh, busy bees like it's a lot of people in each city because I don't just want to go to a city and like three people show up um, I want like if I go to DC if I go to Atlanta like I want like 15 plus people there or more you know like I want a lot of people there um, but yeah I mean when my followers build up more I still I'm still not where I need to be I should definitely be at 10k subscribers by now um, but you know everything takes time but I feel like within this next year my followers and you know people who support me will grow sorry you guys it's a hello helicopter but yeah when more opportunities start and you know i feel like it's the lit and it's the timing and i prayed on it is when i would travel so yes today was such a great day uh ipsy put out our video yesterday um tar cosmetics we posted so i'm just like so happy and grateful but um birthday plans turning 24 what are my goals for 24 for my 24th birthday in this chapter, as 23 is closing, um, definitely my goals as for being 24 is to definitely work on my savings, like really, really save, FYI, that's Harpo, really, really save my money, um, travel more, I have my passport now, so I really want to take advantage of that, going to like Europe for like a week. Um, I definitely want to see like the world more um, for the 24th chapter definitely the second book plot plan is slay it will be done um, and then this really 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 big company I'm launching I'm so excited I cannot wait for you guys to see it uh, so those are like my top few priorities for turning 24 it's just definitely work on budgeting um, I definitely want to get a new car like I'm going to get a new car I really want a Benz um, I know a lot of people are like, well, you should just, you know, like, settle for this and then settle for that. But I'm like, no, either go big or go home. Like, I value myself and I want my first car to be amazing. Like, I want my car in my name to be lit. I want to make sure it's the right investment and that I'm safe. And I just really see myself in a nice Benz. I keep getting confirmation that that's the car I'm going to get. <laughs> So that, it, it's going to be that. So, yeah. Either go big or go home. Why not? But those are my goals. Travel. Money. New car. Who this? And then, towards the end of the year, I definitely want to work on moving to... My goal is to have a two-bedroom, two, two bath. I really want an office space. I really want a beauty room. Um, that's my goal within the next two years, too. It's just like 25, 26, I'm up. So... Those are my goals. What are you guys, like, what did you do for your 24th, 24th birthday? Um, I'm thinking about going wine tasting. I've never done that, so I really want to do something and be a little creative. I don't really want to do the norm, going to the club and dinner. Um, I definitely want to do something that's a little lit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man, comment below and let me know what you guys think I should do for my birthday. <laughs> Scorpio season, if you are a Scorpio, please comment below. Scorpio season. And shout out to Pretty Girl Peeps for my shirt. It's called Style By Me. Um, make sure you guys follow them, Pretty Girl Peeps. Um, thank you for the shirt. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Miyaka B. Also, subscribe to my channel, Miyaka B Show. Um, bye, guys. Then Scorpio season is still here. Shout out to my Scorpios. Bye. Hey. Hey. Hey.